Uh, we are Biglon Bryggeri and uh, I'm Torshell. You can tell a few words about yourself. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we did a different approach just this summer uh, with this blond. When I talked to Torkel uh, and said he wanted to do a blond, and um, I sat down on the toilet. <laughs> So, this is the second video from my talk with Bygland Bryggeri at Norsk Kornøl Festival this year. And uh, now we are going to turn more over to modern styles of beer. How they think when they combine and how they really make drinkable beers. Fermented with quake, of course. So over here we have modern styles, uh, so we have everything from a stout uh, with quack to a uh, blonde with quack to uh, it's on our Christmas ales. It's, uh, it's hard to pinpoint a style here, but uh, it's based on a brown ale. Yeah. But uh, we also really well, love Belgian beers, so. Uh, we put a bit of uh, dadles and raisins in to get that dried fruit that you often have in uh, Belgian beers. And also a little bit of uh, vanilla. Yep. And a ferment with quite, of course. Yeah. We did a different approach just this summer uh, with this blonde. Uh, yeah. So for the first time I didn't go for a, a word. It's actually a place, a big Lansfjord. Mm. Beautiful place uh, in Setstal where you can find your own beach basically, your own personal beach. And yeah. so I'm also advertising for for Setstall in that way. And this idea by uh, this design was to create... I wanted to show the beach, but I also wanted to look a bit like a 50 or 60s kind of advertisement, mm. American advertisement. Yeah, I and, think you did that. And then <laughs> the designer came back with this and was like, oh my god, that's great. Uh, and it's been a um, best seller uh, because it's, um, well, not only the Kvaik, it's is using Opsag Kvaik, which is kind of neutral, because mm. here we didn't want something to be very, very special. Mm. But uh, the hops here, yeah, is, the uh, it was a very good choice by Cospo. I can't remember all the But the it, hops. it gives this kind of lemongrassy, yeah, citrusy, yeah, yeah. Uh, really refreshing taste. Mm. Uh, that's perfect for summer beer. And well, I get a lot of comments on this that uh, I want to drink it again. I can drink it again. And mm. that is also important to a brewery that people just don't just buy it once. The most funny thing it's a f fun fact uh, about this one is that when I talked to Torkel uh, and said he wanted to do a blunt and um, I sat down on the toilet <laughs> because that's often where, where I get my, my ideas and um, I grab my phone when I get an idea and this was on the toilet <laughs> where I just sit down and just, and just Keep writing and put it down on paper. This is. So maybe you were thinking about this girl when you were in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> not sure what you did. <laughs> I hadn't seen the the, la the labor uh, then, but um, yeah. If you want to see more from Northern Route, you can check out this one. And if you want to see the playlist from Norsk Kornel Festival 2021, you can check this out. So I catch you further down the road, traveler. Safe travels.